It's a boat! You guys were right. Well, the guys that guessed it. This is what we're looking at. Let's get a closer, uh, get on board, get a closer detail. What do you think, Lil? It's amazing. It's amazing. She's not wrong. Mama? We'll see. How do we get on yeah. here? Yeah. I don't know. Let's find out. Are you coming aboard? Huh? I'm aboard. Come on. All right. Here's what we got. Oh God, Lily, careful. Adventurous child. Check it out, it's got a little deck up top. Oh, got this little deck little back light here. Light oh my God, it's got these little walkways down both sides. So here's the thought for this. We're not gonna fix this up and make it float. It needs too much work for that. It's got a big old hole in the bottom, actually. The uh, thought. Need to make it into a tiny clubhouse. Make it into a tiny clubhouse, yeah. The yeah. thought is hook some chains up to it, drag it through the woods with a dozer, and retrofit it into a little guest cabin. Let's get a closer look at some of this stuff. Still got a motor. Still got a motor. Got some batteries. I don't know if that's worth anything. It's got a, you see down there, it's got a generator back there too yet. It, it's flowing. If it has a hole, why is it like flowing up with water? I don't know, it's a good question. Hmm. That stuff might be worth something. Who knows, I don't know. Is anybody on this channel a boat expert by chance? Here, watch out of the way. Let's see if we can see the generator better in this. Oh, there it is. Okay. Got some oh. numbers on it. Feels that that looks better. Ooh, it's gold. <laughs> it's gold. Super awesome. Come on, my lady. I don't like this at all. Ooh, pretty. So eclectic. This is pretty cool. This is an awesome little space. What do you think? Bird nest. Bird nest, yes, I know. Bird nest. Well. Cute little sitting area. Yep. You ready? Yep. Are we going? I see it. Here should it be. What are you getting us into? <laughs> I don't know. Look, it's got a port. Oh, it's just a mirror. <laughs> oh, that'd be so cool if we could disappear. Pretty cool space, though. It's fun. That's scary. What are all these flies doing in here? Okay, so as soon as you walk in, um, you got this little cabin space here. It's got a, a couch, and you know, this would be like your dinette area and your little kitchenette area. It is a nice space. It's it's pretty good size. You can make it into something nice, but I started just noticing some things here and there that tell me that maybe as a whole the superstructure just isn't as good as I thought it was. You know, I wasn't too concerned. We'd planned on if we got it gutting it all the way to the bones anyway, but you can kind of see some signs where there may be some issues with the bones as well. And once you get into that, I'm just I feel like that's a little bit over my skill level. I don't mind gutting things and rebuilding them, but as far as working on the superstructure of this. I'm just not that familiar with it. So it's a little bit worse than what we expected from the online pictures. That's where we saw it first was the uh, an online posting and it's about an hour away from us. So it wasn't too big deal. Drive down, look at it. But uh, the back half is already kind of gutted. They started to reskin the bottom of the boat. I don't know if you have to pull the floorboard, the floorboard, the floor to uh, reskin the outside, and maybe that's why they did it. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll walk around the outside and show you what they're looking at out there. 
Okay, so we're climbing back on this upper deck. I'm gonna try to see if I can locate some of those water leaks, and, and some of them are pretty daggone apparent. You know, there's this pretty wide open crack right here that could be resealed, and you know, that's not too big of a deal. That doesn't bother me so much. There's some leaks around the air conditioner. That doesn't bother me, but, so each one of where these posts, little posts attached to the ceiling, some of those are rock clean through, and that concerns me. Um, that's a little bit more substantial work than I'd hoped for. Uh, on the outside, you can see some of the reskinning there. They're welded up to these posts, and there's a few places on this uh, superstructure that, that make me a little nervous for transport, and this is one of them. You can see that. So that goes clean through the steel, and that's a pretty significant area. It's also like that on the bottom, on the underside, and there's a few other spots like that. So that makes me nervous. You know, if we throw this thing on the trailer, is part of this going to start coming apart while we're trying to transport it? Um, we're trying to take this to the woods. This is part of the superstructure going to start to fail on us. It, it certainly makes me nervous. You know, I wasn't uh, too put off by the fact that we have to get a permit for it. That's not that big a deal. We've done oversized permits I wasn't too put off by the fact we'd have to get a special trailer for it. That's not a big a deal It's sitting up nice and clear from the ground like that you get a trailer underneath You know, it's just the problems with the superstructure that worry me the most on this thing And you can clearly tell this guy had the best intentions for this vessel he was going through the process of having it reskinned. I'm sure he's just a little bit of a dreamer, kind of like we were at this project and had high hopes for it. Unfortunately, uh, just like for him, it's gonna be the same for us. We're just gonna have to pass on this project. It's a little bit more superstructure intensive than I had anticipated, and I'm just not that familiar with boats or how they work. However, that being said, we're still looking for input from you guys on what could be a fun, creative, unique, way to do a guest cabin we don't want just the typical log cabin out in the woods we want something that stands out and it's a little bit different and a little bit of fun so unfortunately i don't have a boat to be captain of but we're going to stick with the captain Kleeman name because it's catching we like it so as always thanks for watching hit that subscribe button like share comment all that fun stuff we'll catch you on the next one